Captain Wayne, Black Tip Fishing Adventures. Um, sitting out here at the bass boat. Um, yesterday I took it out, had a pretty good time, but my trim switch broke on me. There's bugs biting the hell out of me right now. But um, getting ready to change my trim switch. It's an aftermarket, something this guy put in. It works, but um, it's corroded like hell, so it, it broke. So as you can see, um, give you a little history on these real quick or diagram. The purple wire is your constant hot, the green wire is your down switch, the blue wire is your up switch. So what I'm going to do is cut these off, peel it back, and put in the aftermarket three-way switch. Uh, Bass Pro wasn't carrying these. I don't know when they started. Went last night and found it. So I'm going to put that in. I took out the switch that was down there, one of those factory switches. That you pull on, push, turn off, kind of like a uh, old school Chrysler vehicle turn the headlights on and off so I'm gonna put this switch in there but I guess I need to make sure it fits so I don't have to drill it out so let me go ahead and open this see if this fits in there the cool thing about it is it's got a plug on the other side as well and it does not fit so we have to drill it out go ahead and attach the wires to it and then I'll get my drill and drill the hole out and assemble it. Alright, so I'm sorry I got bugs crawling on me, touching me. It's freaking me out. I'm not a bug lover for all you bug lovers out there, sorry. Need some smaller cutters. Cut these items off. Okay. There's the old, squid, old switch, not good for anything anymore. I need to peel the new switch back, the casing on the wires. I'm like really not feeling good with these bugs touching me. Usually I can handle stuff like that now, I feel like a wolf. <laughs> I guess it's because of the story my son just told me about a bug getting on my, my nephew, so. That don't scare you. There's a big spider. Ooh. -ooh. Yep. How's it feel? Sting a little. Where? Right. My arm. Probably like a mosquito. I'll just say that, yeah. Remember what I said? Which one's up and which one's down? Blue is up. Green is down. So that means purple is. constant power all right so I decided to change my wiring color code on this thing a little bit with these uh, connectors I got the blue one for the purple <laughs> to represent <clears throat> constant power and the green and the blue um, wires I'm going to Make those yellow. So I'll cut this on real quick. That made it a little too hard. Alright, he's on. I'm gonna put the yellow one on. I don't know why, but you always twist your wires <clears throat> before you, um, Slot them in your connectors and crimp them. Something I learned or was told to do when I used to do stereo installs with Disco Dave. That's right, Disco Dave, if anybody knows him, tell him I say hey down in Miami, Florida. And the height of the wires is a little different too. I got my wires are staggered in height not because I want it to just the way it was and I'm okay with that Put a little snug on your crimps to make sure that they're in this switch is off in the middle on on both ends so I would assume that that middle prong would be your constant power and that's in there depending on how I set it up up would be one particular end, down would be the other. 
up and down. There we go. Now, to be safe, I can take some black tape and kind of wrap it around with black tape. It would help if I had a good battery.